couple is continuing the fight to evict a woman from their home. They say they never gave her permission to move in. We have been following this story closely for you since Six on Your Side first broke it earlier this month. And now legislators are getting involved, hoping to prevent this from happening to anybody else. Six on Your Side's Karen Lair has the latest developments in our continuing coverage. Don Michelle, we may be done with this year's legislative session, but lawmakers in Canyon County are already talking about legislation for next session that would address the situation where a so-called tenant has a fraudulent lease. How can you lease someone else's property when the owner's not even involved? It's a complicated situation out of Canyon County, grabbing the attention of Idaho state representatives and lawmakers. So we first heard about it when it was on the news. The property in question on South Westwood Street in Nampa is owned by Brian and Renee Prindle, who made plans to sell the home to 72-year-old Nancy Billings out of California. You know, well, that's why I was going to live the rest of my life right there. It's been a few months now in my head. I'm living there already, but I don't know. I don't know what to do now. The sale is now at a standstill as the rightful property owners are in a court battle to evict a woman named Deborah Smith who moved in without their knowledge, claiming she signed a lease and paid rent to a man the homeowners have never heard of. She's certainly potentially been taken advantage of and we feel bad for that, but that doesn't allow her to trespass in someone's home and potentially do damage to the home. After seeing our continued coverage, state representative from District 12 Rick Youngblood says he and other representatives felt the need to step in and make a change, reaching out to the homeowners himself. I told them, I want to sit down with you uh, when we get closer to session. We'll look at the statutes and say, okay, clearly there's a need here for some changes. Youngblood says Idaho law needs a clause to address scenarios where possible con artists may step in and claim ownership of vacant homes, cashing in on rent money, and as in the Prindles case, leaving the true homeowners with a lack of rights to their own property. There's no, there's no evidence to support the lease at all, other than it's just a lease document with somebody's signature that nobody's ever heard of. There's no other proof, no other evidence. It's clearly a case of uh, trespassing. That's what needs to be pushed both from the local police department to the judge. We wouldn't want this to happen to anybody else again. Well, the homeowners will be meeting with state officials from the governor's office at the state capitol tomorrow to discuss the entire situation. We'll be sure to stay on top of this case for you and bring you the latest updates as we get them. Live in studio, I'm Karen Lair, 6 on your side.